Hi, it's Rhonda from Out and About with Larry and Rhonda. This trip that I wanted to show you today was from Ledges State Park up in Iowa. We went up for a three-day weekend in August of last year, and it was our maiden voyage in the Tramper. So real bare bones, still learning about what we needed and what we wanted to have with us. No can lighting, no refrigerator under the bed. We weren't rough in it by any means, but there was a learning curve for sure. The hikes out here are beautiful. I don't know if you've ever been to Iowa or not, but uh, I always refer to it as the dark horse. A lot of people don't realize how great it is. The wildlife, that wo that woodpecker was right beside our campsite, just like those three little coon siblings that were in the tree next to our camper as well. The reason we went up was to ride the rails. And what that is, it's a little park that our daughter had told us about in a TikTok video. They've got a train museum, which is pretty cool. Lots of stuff, interactive. You can go in, you can walk around. The train museum had a ton of stuff in there as well. And um, that's what it's called, rail explorers. You sit in these little two-seaters or little four-seaters, depending on how many people you bring with you. And then you just get on the railroad tracks. Um, they're live tracks. They're just not in use at this particular time, and they reserve them. It is an electric pedal assist. You don't have to work that hard to get it to go. Um, you pedal, stop pedaling, and you're going to coast for a while. It just helps you get where you're going. The only thing I would recommend that you bring if you're 50 and plus is maybe a little cushion. It, it is a little rough on the, um, on the back. The views were stellar. I took my camera, my husband brought his selfie, and we took a ton of videos. The actual trip is two hours. It was 90 bucks for two riders, so $45 a piece, and it was a 12 and a half mile trip. Would totally do it again, and I think if you were to do it when the leaves are changing, it would be spectacular, maybe an evening, evening ride. And you can uh, go to the website, schedule and book in advance and plan for that sort of thing. We just kind of saw it, booked it, went and did it. We really enjoyed this and evidently they've got another four or five locations across the country that you can do. This trestle was super cool. Um, I'm afraid of heights, but I'm also one of those people that feel like I'll, I'll do it. Give me a shot, I'll do it. I may not like it, may not love it, but I'll do it anyway. And, and here's me absolutely loving it. The, on the way across, it, I didn't love it. On the way back, I guess I had kind of, you know, talked myself into it. We passed over that trestle. I think it was 185 feet high. Um, ton of people behind us. A couple of people ahead of us, but they had us spaced out enough to where we didn't even know they were there. This is Woodward, Iowa. And what this is is a bicycle trip that we took. It's called the High Trestle Trail. It's a 25-mile paved recreational trail that runs through four counties. It's essentially a discontinued railroad turned into a community trail that crosses the Des Moines River Valley. It's phenomenal. We, um, we did that. We did six miles out and six miles back. The wildlife out there was superb. The birds, um, you can see the deer. We did stop at this bar on the way back. It's called the Flat Tire Lounge and had a beer before we rode back by. But the sun setting was beautiful. Um, best views in the country right there. And it, Iowa is just always a great place to go, and we end up going quite a bit. This here is the West End Salvage. They used to have a TV show years ago, and they sell all kinds of stuff, all kinds of one-of-a-kind one of pieces. We also stopped by the county seat. The um, Boone County Courthouse is there, and they had all these um, rocks that were painted, you know, in honor of veterans and, and USA, our country, which was awesome. And then they had an ice cream shop across the across the street and like the sign says you can't buy happiness but you can buy an ice cream and that counts and then we just kind of finished up the trip driving around taking pictures of barns which I which I absolutely love to do and uh, again three days it was a great time absolutely loved it